Camilla Molina Quartet live and direct here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I welcome you back into the Jazz Gallery. I'm Philip Capuzzi, your host every Thursday morning from 11 a.m. until 12 noon. This fine Thursday, we have with us Camilla Molina on trumpet, also composing most of the tunes on this incredible set list, uh, alongside Donald DeStefano on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla on drums. And we have a few really exciting programs coming up in the next few weeks. Next week, uh, another great friend of mine, another incredible trumpet player uh, out of Brian Lynch's studio at Frost, Kate Hammond, will be coming by to present some of her original music and also uh, going to be on vocals a little bit as well in addition to trumpet. Uh, and then the week after that, actually myself, I'll be coming in uh, under the moniker Goon Green with my own quartet, which should be really exciting. And then after that, the esteemed Stamps Quintet will grace the Jazz Gallery. And then finally, moving into mid-September, the ESQ, uh, the Eric Stern Quartet, quartet uh, really exciting up and coming group here in Miami they'll be performing here at the frost uh, jazz hour so quite a few exciting weeks uh, of music coming up but for us here this morning we're going to move forward with the music with another original composition uh, of Camillo's entitled remembrance of past world here on 88.9 FM the frost jazz hour Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Camilla Molina live and direct here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm Philip Capuzzi, pleased to be joining you here this morning. I'm with you every Thursday morning. Next week we have Kate Hammond coming in, followed by actually my own quartet on the first Thursday of September. Then after that, the Stamps Quintet, followed by the ESQ, the Eric Stern Quartet, the week after that. So some really exciting programs coming up. If you want to Join the WDNA family. Support beautiful programs like these. You can visit WDNA.org. Donate any amount. Uh, a donation of $60 or more makes you a sustaining member with the station, which comes with a number uh, of incentives and perks. Uh, and once again, just wanted to thank everyone that donated during our endless summer drive in July. Uh, but of course, we're always in need of listener support here to sustain beautiful live programs like the Frost Jazz Hour, the FIU Music Hour, uh, as well as the other unique programming that we have here at the station. Uh, so with that, Camillo, thanks so much for, for being with us here this morning. It's been a great pleasure to, to listen to your music and I'm looking forward to, to the rest of the program. Thanks for having me, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I've been asking this question to most people who've, who've been coming in just because I feel like it's a, a really interesting time in the world overall, but especially in, in, the, in the music scene. Uh, so first of all, congrat congratulations on graduating. Uh, but I'm curious, how do, how do you feel post-graduation? How have these last uh, couple of months uh, been for you since since you walked? 
the last couple of months have been, uh, they've been actually pretty, pretty good. I mean, for a little bit of it, I was uh, trying to figure out, you see, when you graduate, suddenly something hits where now you're like, I'm suddenly not a school, I'm not a school kid anymore. And so now I have to figure out, okay, how am I going to find a place to live? I want to play music. How am I going to make money off of this? Uh, where do I want to live? I, my ambition is to go to New York, but I can't afford New York right now. And uh, I really wanted to stay in UM to continue my study with Brian Lynch and Etienne Charles, and, uh, and now Marcus Strickland is there. And I'm very grateful that they did give me the opportunity to come back for my master's. So I have uh, two more years left there to uh, continue to cultivate myself and and get ready for uh, for my ultimate goal, which is which is New York. Absolutely, yeah. And you kind of answered one of the questions that I that I wanted to ask you. F first of all, another congratulations is, is in order for being accepted to the master's program, Studio of Brian Lynch, and of course Etienne Charles coming in now, and Marcus Strickland, like you said. Faculty uh, continues to get more and more stacked at Frost, so really exciting uh, to be in that kind of zeitgeist uh, of the Miami scene. Uh, so I'm curious, with regards to the master's program, are you going to be serving as, as a teaching assistant, or are you focusing more uh, on your artistic development? And where do you think your focus is going to be over these next couple of years? Yeah, I'll be focusing mostly on my artistic development, um, getting together with, with my group. Uh, there's a, a record and plan to record at some point soon. Um, and really be active in the city of Miami as much as possible and bring music to the people. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so another thing that happened recently that I wanted to hip the listeners to uh, was that you traveled to, to Aspen with a couple people. Uh, actually, a pretty respectable cohort from Frost made it over there. Uh, really wonderful congregation of different people from around the world uh, all gathering, you know, under the guise of, of jazz education. So I'm curious, what was what was your overall experience? And then if there's any highlights that you wanted to, to share from that experience? The experience was absolutely incredible. It was, <laughs> it, it's it's like utopia. I mean, everything, you're, you're pampered to death in, in Aspen. I mean, from how small the town is, uh, City Walk is, is just two minutes, or sorry, uh, City what we call the city grocery store. Uh, it was two minutes walk away. I mean, you had clubs, you had a few clubs, uh, a few venues, bars, a lot of great restaurants. And in terms of the music uh, at the jazz camp, it was spectacular. I mean, the best big band I've been a part of thus far. And the musicians were, were out of this park. I mean, some uh, musicians from New School, MSM, Juilliard, Michigan State, uh, and UNT. It was, it was uh, heavy hitters. And working with Christian McBride and being able to meet him was, uh, was such a privilege. Wow. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Thanks so much for sharing. Uh, so that's actually going to take us to the bottom of the hour break. Camilla, thanks so much for, for speaking with me. We'll talk a little bit more before the end of the program. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's going to take us to the bottom of the hour break. So we're going to hear some messages from the station and then come right back with some more original music uh, from Camillo and his original group here on the Frost Jazz Hour 88.9 FM. Welcome back to Live and Direct, WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour. I'm Philip Capuzzi. Thanks so much for joining me here, uh, whether you've been listening on 88.9 or you've been listening on WDNA.org, or perhaps you've been watching on Livestream.com or YouTube. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel, WDNA Radio, on YouTube if you want to check out uh, these live streams beautifully produced from our team here at the station. Uh, not only the Frost Jazz Hour, but also the FIU Music Hour 
uh, as well. So with that, I welcome you back into the Jazz Gallery. We have with us here this morning, Camilo Molina leading a group. He's on trumpet uh, and wrote uh, most of the tunes on this set list. He's alongside Donald Stefano on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums. And it's been a great pleasure to, to listen to their music so far. So we're just going to move right forward. Uh, coming up next, a tune that Camilo wrote uh, in tribute to a wonderful piano player who was briefly here in Miami, uh, entitled K Park.
Camilla Molina live and direct here from the Jazz Gallery, the Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. Welcome you, the listener, back in uh, here to this wonderful program. We have Camilla Molina on trumpet alongside Donald Stefano on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Bram Masla on drums. Uh, next week, uh, Kate Hammond coming in to perform some of her original music. She's on trumpet and vocals. Uh, then my own quartet, uh, the Goon Green Quartet, will be here on the first Thursday of September, followed by the Stamps Quintet, and then after that, ESQ, the Eric Stern Quartet, uh, as we uh, trudge through mid-September at that point. Some really, really astoundingly amazing programs coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that last tune, a beautiful, incredibly touching composition entitled K Park, uh, written by Camillo himself, originally performed on his senior recital, which I actually had the great honor of helping to engineer. It was a, a wonderful experience listening to his music then, and I'm very uh, honored to have the opportunity to listen to uh, his conception here again this morning. So they're going to move forward with the only non-original on this set, uh, the Gershwin classic Embraceable You here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the Frost Jazz Hour.
Yeah. <laughs> Embraceable You, as interpreted by Camilla Molina on trumpet, Donald DiStefano on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla on drums here on the Frost Jazz Hour, WDNA 88.9 FM. I'm Philip Capuzzi, joining you for the final time here uh, this morning uh, as we approach the afternoon. Uh, I'll be with you for the Latin Jazz Quarter in just a few moments. Uh, next week, we have Kate Hammon coming into the Frost Jazz Hour to perform some of her original music. Uh, then after that, my own quartet, the Goon, Goon Green Quartet, uh, will be gracing the Jazz Gallery, followed by the Stamps Quintet after that, and then the Eric Stern Quartet. So, Camilo, thanks again uh, for being here, sharing your music. Uh, before we get into the last tune, I just had, had one question for you. Uh, your compositions have a, a really unique a, and extremely open style, and, and I'm just curious... Is there any particular person or uh, source of influence that you draw from more than others? Mm, yeah, there is. Uh, certainly with Vant, uh, big inspirations were Freddie Hubbard, Wynton Marsalis. Then when we're talking about some of the more uh, open stuff, uh, huge inspirations are more contemporary musicians such as uh, Joel Ross, Walter Smith, Emmanuel Wilkins. Uh, huge inspirations, and uh, they're definitely up-and-coming jazz giants. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I know I said I only had one question, but I but I also wanted to ask, you grew up in, in Northport, just a little bit out of, of Sarasota, and out-of-staters can sometimes forget how massive Florida is, uh, so that's very much not Miami. So I'm just curious, now that you've been here for a few years, coming to Frost by way of, of MDC, uh, was it difficult to assimilate into the culture here? And I know you said earlier, this was a follow-up question, but you said that you're trying to get over to New York uh, at some point as well. So I'm just curious, you know, what was your experience uh, kind of melding into the Miami culture? Uh, and then, yeah, like you said earlier, you're trying to get up to, to New York at some point as well. Definitely for me, the biggest uh, culture shock was uh, dealing with a big city, dealing with the stress of a big city, the traffic, the hustle, uh, the minor inconveniences <laughs> that there is when there's just a highly populated city. Uh, socially though, I come from a Hispanic background. And so luckily when go attending Miami Dade, I was able to uh, make friends very easily with, with, a lot of, uh, with a lot of people there. That's awesome. Yeah, so for the final time for the listeners, we have here in the Jazz Gallery Camilo Molina on trumpet. He also wrote uh, almost all of the compositions on this set list, uh, save for Embraceable You, which we just heard a moment ago. He's joined by Donald Stefano on piano, Jesse Katz on upright bass, and Brahm Masla on drums. Uh, and now as we move towards the conclusion of the program, uh, they're going to send us off uh, with one more composition of Camilo's. Uh, actually, it's untitled. <laughs> uh, thanks so much once again, Camilo. Uh, take it away.
Thank you.